everyone is in their own worlds and no yeah. one speaks the same language as each other. But if you could bring them together and have the creative or the designer say to the local official who it's, you know, it's not their fault. It's just not their interest. Exactly. Right? They're, yeah. they're, they're an official because they're not an architect or an interior designer because it's not what their interest is. Mm -hmm. But if they could talk to each other and the person who has the vision can say, this is how our community should look like, you have to get in that room. And that really only starts with talking with each other. And it can be as simple as in a coffee shop or over the kitchen table, or it can be up to going to a meeting, or if you really feel inspired, and maybe there are some people who are, you can work with some people in your community and maybe buy a, a home or land and and you could renovate it, or you know it's, it's a bigger lift. You could come together and build a, a, a home or maybe a new small business. And that can be uh, the seed that leads to a new forest of ideas. And that's more than anything, even though I'm a developer and we do our own projects, what I try to do is to help people realize that they can plant that seed in their community and there's no reason that they can't. And once that seed gets planted and once you build one beautiful place, so I, I, I don't know if, if, if you've been to Charleston in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. No. It's stunningly beautiful. It is so charming, so quaint. Uh, the Southern hospitality doesn't hurt either <laughs> and being right on the water. But over the last 20 or 30 years, there's been a group of architects and developers and everyday people who have just said, we have this beautiful city, but a lot of new places aren't, aren't that great. Why don't we try to create them? And they did. And so their one new building turned to two, turned to five, to a point now where if you go to Charleston, almost all of the new buildings are really, really lovely. Wow. Even if you aren't, even if you don't have the vision, you can look to the person beside of you and go, oh, I really like what they did. I'm going to try to replicate that. Mm -hmm. and, and then that kind of goes down its own path. It's like inspiration is uh, contagious, right? Once you have one beautiful thing, it just builds upon that.